All right, kids, it's story time. Yay! Story Yay! time! Today's reading of Twirl, written and illustrated by Emily Lex, will be read by Callie and Mom. The Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness, with his love. He will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. Zephaniah 3.17 Audrey Girl loved to twirl. She twirled in the morning. She twirled at night. She twirled through the piles of crunchy leaves and under the jolly glow of twinkling lights. Audrey twirled in the fresh rain puddles and while eating double-decker ice cream cones. Day after day, a delightful feeling bubbled up inside her. It sparkled and flowed through her fingers and toes as she spun and leapt and danced so freely and lightly. Yes, Audrey Girl loved to twirl. One afternoon, Audrey put on her favorite twirling dress and her favorite twirling shoes and went to the meadow beyond her house, where the birds sang their songs and the honeybees hummed and the wildflowers blew in the breeze. As she skipped along, she came upon a duck, swirling, whirling, dipping, and bobbing in a pond. Ooh, what lovely twirling. Mr. Duck? Audrey said. Can you show me how to twirl like you? Of course, replied Mr. Duck. Simply paddle your feet and throw back your feathers and let the water move you. Audrey dipped her toes in the water, tossed her arms back, and slipped on the pebbles with a splash. She didn't have feathers like Mr. Duck and didn't float like Mr. Duck. And even though she tried, she just couldn't twirl like Mr. Duck. She picked herself up, and on she went as the birds sang their songs and the honeybees hummed and the wildflowers blew in the breeze. She came upon a butterfly flitting, flapping, and gliding gracefully through the air. Ooh, what lovely twirling. Miss Butterfly? Audrey said. Can you show me how to twirl like you? Of course, replied Miss Butterfly. Simply flap your wings and close your eyes and let the wind carry you. With eyes squeezed shut, Audrey stretched tall on her highest tippy toes, fluttered her arms, and toppled to the ground. Kerplop! She didn't have wings like Miss Butterfly and couldn't fly like Miss Butterfly. And even though she tried, she just couldn't twirl like Miss Butterfly. She took a deep breath, and on she went as the birds sang their songs, and the honeybees hummed, and the wildflowers blew in the breeze. A bunny hopped by, springing, flipping, and tumbling through the wildflowers. Ew, what lovely twirling, little bunny, Audrey said. Can you show me how to twirl like you? Of course, replied little bunny. Simply wiggle your tail and hop up high and let the ground lift you. Audrey wiggled and bounced and cartwheeled through the daisies and landed in a dizzy heap. She didn't have springy legs like little bunny and couldn't flip like little bunny. And even though she tried, she just couldn't twirl like little bunny. Audrey brushed herself off and rested beneath a tree. Suddenly, she didn't feel so free. A hush came over the meadow. Mr. Duck, Miss Butterfly, and Little Bunny gathered around their friend. Audrey, girl. You love to twirl. Why have you stopped twirling? Maybe twirling is not for me, she replied with a sigh. I can't float like Mr. Duck, and I can't fly like Miss Butterfly, and I can't hop like a little bunny. Maybe I'm not made to twirl. But uh, don't you see, they said brightly, your loop-de-loop -loop leaps and tippy-toe turns are perfect and wonderfully made. God loves you and created you with your own special twirl. You are exactly as he wants you to be. 
A delightful feeling began to bubble inside her. It glittered and glowed from her head to her toes until she couldn't sit still any longer. She rose to her feet, stretched her arms out wide, and tilted her face to the sky, letting the sun shine over her. The birds sang their songs, and the honeybees hummed, and the wildflowers blew in the breeze. And Audrey and her friends twirled with all of their hearts, each in their own lovely way.